Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another installment of Smasher Pass where yours truly the Muffin King will be going into the world of different waifus to see who I shall smash or pass and I was feeling a bit needy. Not so much needy, but I wanted to treat myself to a cool Smasher Pass so I'll be diving into the world of one of my favorite shows of all time, the world of Teen Titans and I'll just be just dabbling, you know, just a little dabble. I'll just dabble into this universe to see what waifus we can find. Alright, let's jump into this, shall we? First up, we have... <laughs> the combination, the beautiful combination of Raven and Starfire. I don't know um, what's going on right here, but it seems like Starfire is uh, looking at something and Raven is just very embarrassed. As you guys know, Raven is my number one waifu. In Teen Titans and Starfire is not too close by as well. So having them both together would be very, very nice. Hmm. I gotta say, just just those two hugging on each other is very... Something is right. There's just something right about this. So yeah, I'll definitely take both these two. Oh, I'll, I'll, I will I would love to have One Night Nazareth with Raven. <laughs> And you know what I can do to Starfire, so yeah, I'll be smashing both these two lovely waifus. Lovely. Alright, let's move on. Next up we have <laughs> another combination. Another spicy, probably one of my favorite spicy combinations of Raven and Jinx. Raven is my number one, but Jinx is my second. She's my number two waifu in Teen Titans. And just seeing those two, <laughs> Jinx looks kind of... <laughs> She looks kind of psychotic here, but I'm digging it. You know, I love, I love the little, the crazies. Sometimes, sometimes, excluding Otaku. But yes, mm, Raven is looking luscious and beautiful as always, and just seeing her with Jinx is just, it's just right. You know, it's just, it's just right, and I love it. So yes, both these waifus will be getting smashed by the Muffin King. Oh yeah. All right. Moving on, we have, um, oh, we have Terra. Hmm, Terra, you know, Slade's little, little apprentice slash concubine, <laughs> if you read the comics. Um, but yeah, Terra, she's, uh, I guess she's going for ballet in this, uh, photo. So, interesting, Terra, you know, she, I've always, Terra's definitely one of my life who's definitely in the top five. I love Terra, love her character arc, and, uh, yeah, Smash. Yeah, that's a definite smash. Yeah, I like her look. Um, she looked good. She looked good! So definitely gonna be smashing Terra. Moving on. <laughs> oh! Now this is what I'm talking about. Hello, Black Fire! With the plump, thick... How much cake you got, Black Fire? Another one of my top waifus. Just, I'm just looking... Extra dumb gumbo thick, thick in the hips, thick in the the cleave, the boobs. What, what if, what if? I don't know what they've been feeding Black Fire, but keep it up, keep it up. I am loving this. Oh wow. <laughs> oh man, she might be a contender for Raven. I don't know. She's looking too good, guys. She's looking really good. Um, yeah, smash, smash, smash all night, every night, Black Fire. Please, come to Dante, come home! Yes, uh, that's a smash. Oof! Alright, move on. Yeesh. That was... Getting a little toasty in here. Uh, next up we have... Ooh, hello! We have, um... Bumblebee here looking... <laughs> showing up the cheeks in those wings. You know, I always thought, you know, looking back, you always like Bumblebee and, you know, how take, tar how take charge she was as a leader. And I always thought, you know, maybe Cyborg missed out, but I always felt Cyborg was more better with Jinx than Bumblebee. Because I always felt Jinx and uh, Cyborg had a friendly rivalry. And there could have been something more with uh, Jinx and Cyborg, but they moved her on to Kid Flash for whatever reason. I think they should they should have, you know, went more of that storyline. I, I was digging it. Remember, I remember episode uh, 1, season 3, Deception. Look! Look at the excitement that <laughs> that uh, Jinx was having with um, Cyborg. So much so that even Bumblebee actually 
threatened, you know, about the, the whole prom thing with a uh, cyborg and Jinx. I just felt like that was a missed opportunity. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I'm smashing on Bubble Bee. She looks good. You know, she looks very, very good. Thick. Mmm. I definitely smash. That's one bu Bubble Bee I would love to catch. <laughs> Alright, moving on. We have Rose Wilson. Uh, Slade Wilson's daughter, I believe. Uh, um, well, she's not officially in the show. She's, you know, in the comics and stuff like that. So, you know. <laughs> She was, she was getting a little too comfortable, my man Robin. My, my man Robin was getting seduced by this lady. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's uh, pretty good. Pretty good looking, pretty solid, you know. Uh, I, I find it very weird that, you know, Robin was a was at one point apprentice to Slade, and now he was, you know, getting <laughs> with uh, Slade's daughter. Maybe that's revenge, who knows? But definitely, she's a, she's a strong, strong sophisticated woman and I would not mind having one night with her or maybe two nights or maybe three <laughs> yes smash smash all right let's move on to the last but not least an oh my gami kai I is it a crime for you to look this good is it a crime for someone to look this thick oh my raven you had you got competition <laughs> And it makes sense because I can see where you get your looks from. We have Arela. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right, but the mother of Raven. She is like, yeah, she is looking very gumbo, drop dead gorgeous, thick. Well, I can see where Raven gets all the assets from. <laughs> all the assets from this one. Woo! Wow! Raven, you got competition from Mama Bear. Mama Bear is looking all right. <laughs> well, this is, uh... Phew. You're getting hot in here, guys. You're getting hot in here. Uh, yeah. Smash. Smash, please. I, I don't even to have one night with this one. Wow. Trigon. The one thing I can say about Trigon, he, no, he has good taste in women. Wow. I can see. No, what I. You know what I think was, guys? You know what I think previously? What, what Raven and Starfire were looking at? I think Raven and Starfire were looking at this. <laughs> I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a picture of it. See, see how this looks, guys. I'm gonna put a picture. Of, I'm gonna re put the picture of Raven and Starfire. And then putting uh, Raven's mom here. And you tell me that doesn't fit. <laughs> tell me how that doesn't fit. And Raven's just putting her head over her face. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make myself choke, but um, yeah, yeah, smash, smash on that, that, uh, yeah, just, phew, all right, that's it, guys, that's, uh, that's it for this one, sorry, this one's a bit shorter than the usual, but, you know, I couldn't really find too many, but, you know, if you want more of this, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, let me know we would have smashed out of this list, uh, I think I'd pretty much smashed everybody on this list, so, yeah, hey, what can I say? The ladies look good. If they look good, um, I'm gonna want to smash. But, uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next Smash or Pass video. Take care, guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. We are heroes tonight.